morning, boys and girls. I thought we'd read a story today that, yes, we have read before, but in these times where we're all home together, I thought it would be nice to have a little reminder about Duck and Goose working together. So here's Duck and Goose. Now it's written and illustrated by Tad Hills. Let's see what happens with Duck and Goose. Oh my, what is that? Duck quacked. That's a silly question, Goose honked. It's a big egg, of course. Of course it's an egg. I know that, huffed Duck. What I mean is, where did it come from? Goose looked skyward. He looked to the river. He looked to the fields. He thought very hard. Who are you? He finally asked. I, said Duck, puffing out his feathered chest, am the one whose egg this is. I saw it first. Goose quickly raised one webbed foot. It's mine. I touched it first. Hey, you should never put your dirty foot on an egg, Duck scolded. Don't you know anything about caring for eggs? Yes, I do, Goose cried out. Stop yelling, Duck yelled, then whispered forcefully. Don't you know that you and your screaming are very likely disturbing the baby bird who's trying to take a snooze inside the egg? Goose wished that Duck wasn't right. He lowered his head, whispered softly, I'm very sorry. Go back to sleep in there. My, what a beauty you have, called a bluebird from across the river. Thank you, it's mine, Quack Duck. Actually, it's mine, Hunk Goose. Thank you. So, asked Duck, what do we do now? We should do something, suggested Goose. Yes, you are right. Good thinking, agreed Duck. Like what? Duck and Goose each had thoughts. Oh, see, there's a Duck saying that this egg is his, and there's Goose having the same thoughts. Well, we must keep the egg warm until the fuzzy little occupant is ready to come out, said Goose. Excellent idea, exclaimed Duck, and he pushed past Goose. Step aside, and I shall do just that. But Goose was quick, too. After a flurry of fussing, grunting and groaning, slipping and sliding, honking and quacking, oh dear, Duck and Goose found themselves back to back. Scoot over, I don't have any room, complained Duck. You are much closer than I am to you. Stop yelling in my ear, Goose. Shh. Goose hushed, pointing at the round thing beneath them. Yes, 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 we must remember. Quiet, quiet, quiet. We mustn't disturb the little one. And so they sat very still and very quiet, waiting for a long time. They waited. They listened to the crickets chirp and the frogs burp. I'm going to teach this baby bird to quack like a duck, said Duck boasted. Well, I'm going to teach it to honk like a goose, Goose honked back. I'm going to teach this baby bird to waddle, Goose added. So am I, Duck said. They heard the pitter-patter of rain. I'm going to teach this baby bird to swim, Duck said. Me too, said Goose. Past the time, they sniffed wild flowers in the warm sun and shared breadcrumbs while Goose taught Duck to honk. They watched the sun set in the sky and Duck taught Goose to quack. They counted the stars in the night sky. 
Let's teach our baby to fly, said Goose. Good idea, said Duck. I'm sure our baby will be a fast learner, said Duck. If it takes after you and me, I'm sure you're right, agreed Goose. Together they waited until... Did you feel that, Duck? Duck nodded. Yes. Did you feel that, Goose? Goose nodded. It's time, Goose, it's time. Duck squawked. Quickly, Duck slid down and started running in circles around the egg. What should we do now, he hollered. I think we should remain calm, Goose yelled back. Excuse me, a little voice called out. Duck stopped. In all the exciting confusion, he failed to notice the bluebird kicking their egg. Can I play too, he asked. Play? This is no time to play, yelled Duck. This is no time for games, yelled Goose. And what's with the kicking? I was only trying to get your attention, said the little bird. Well, you got it. Duck huffed. False alarm, Goose. Back to work. Can't you see that we are very busy here, Goose explained to the little blue bird. This is serious business. <clears throat> this is perhaps the most important moment of our lives. Oh my, I'm sorry, apologized blue bird. I had no idea. I just thought maybe I could play with your ball. It really is a nice one, she added and then flew away. Goose gulped. Did she say ball? He whispered to Duck. You know, I did have my doubts, Duck finally said. It is a bit squishier than most eggs I've seen. Yes, and I must say, I was somewhat suspicious of the big dots, Goose admitted. It may not be an A, but it is lovely, said Duck. Oh, absolutely, Duck, Goose agreed. It's a keeper. As the crickets chirped, the frogs burped, and the grass swayed in a gentle breeze, Goose quacked and Duck hopped, and the ball bounced, rolled, and sometimes even flew. That's the end of our story for today. And in case you're wondering about that noise, that was Ghost. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.